So this is a 1987 uh, inline four cylinder uh, Mercury, sorry, <laughs> inline four cylinder 45 horse. They call this one the classic 50. It's a the 50 uh, horse inline four cylinder, the older ones uh, from whatever. Uh, but it, they use that engine block and newer uh, carbs and ignition system, fuel system, all that crap or whatever. But this one's the 45 horsepower. Um, so last year I replaced the water pump and uh, the gear oil in this, great spark, great compression. I think I might have done the spark plugs too. Um, but he was having some carb issues with it. We set up an appointment for this year, this month. Um, and so that's where it's at now. So I completely went through the carbs, cleaned them, rebuilt them, put everything back together. It was missing that that long screw going through there. Um, I have some of the same thread, but they're not the, the length that I need. Um, I plan on going to the hardware store tomorrow and hopefully they got one the length that I need. It needs to go all the way through. The one I have only goes to like right here, but this back part's the part that has the threads on it. A uh, new inline fuel filter. I replaced some of the fuel lines too. I'm using my tank and my hose to run it, clear gas, non-ethanol. This is the filter that was in it. You see all that crap that's in there. Um, that's the inner lining of the old gray fuel line. So the fuel line needs to be replaced um, and at least clean the crap out of the primer bulb and replace that as well. I'm using my tank, my hose. This one has a newer gray fuel line that has a black lining. It doesn't have the clear lining, so you don't have that issue with the newer stuff, but the older stuff is crap, and this is what happens. This is what was inside the fuel pump and everything too. Uh, so I installed a, a rebuilt kit on the fuel pump. Um, I put the, the month and the year on the filter. I had to disconnect the throttle cable and get that where it's a lot lower idle. The idle was super high after I did everything and ran it and stuff. And uh, But I tuned the carbs, adjust the idle, everything else, and it's running damn good. His battery was kind of dead, so I had my jumper hooked up to his battery in there. We'll see if it'll crank over without um, turning this on. Yeah, been running it for a little bit to get it tuned and everything else, so. It's all good. We'll start pissing water here in a second. There she goes. But these are a pain in the ass to do the carbs on. You gotta remove the starter. You gotta remove all this crap up front. You have to disconnect a whole bunch of crap. It's just a pain in the ass. And yeah, like I said, I'm gonna get that screw that's missing in there. It's not leaking any fuel or anything. The carbs aren't leaking any fuel or anything. Everything's all good with that. I'll shift it. So there's reverse. I'll put it in forward for a quick second, but it's gonna shoot some of the water out. There's forward. But this is all good to go. Um, the old fuel system, basically from the connection on the engine, through the fuel pump, through the carbs, everything else has been gone through. I replaced some of the fuel lines and uh, rebuilt the carbs, rebuilt the fuel pump, new inline fuel filter, everything's good.